Starting Thursday, September 15th, is the Weather Cup, and I'm looking through like the top ranking Pokemon that you can use. Most of them are XL, like Cradilly here, as you can see on the right side of the video, in which you will need the 100% IV, which I myself do not have one because I have the 141515, since that is the rank one with the best buddy boost at level 50 and a half. As you can see right here, Cradilly has like all around amazing stats. It's so tanky and stuff. Like, gets the 2499 on the nose is like, dang. It just baffles me how like Niantic would be able to do that. And looking at its moveset, it has like a good variety of movesets. You know, it has like Stone Edge for those fire types and ice types. It wins against all the water types besides Polyrath. But other than that, it is a good pick though. We also have like Swampert, which is a good benefit budget pick for the Weather Cup. But if I were you, I'd most likely go for like the actual Open Ultra League. However, I don't want to deal with like Registeel or even Cresselia for that matter. Here we have is Obama Snow, where it has like a lot of play against the water types aside from Samurai, if it shields the energy ball correctly, since it is super effective against it. Now taking a look at the other side of the video, you can see like the Pokemon I currently have that are fire, water, ice, or rock type for the Ultra League. I don't really have a lot of the Pokemon with those types in them because like most of them haven't even get powered up through the Ultra League's limit. And some of them are like Hundos though, and some of them aren't mainly because I plan to use them for Omega or may have benefit in the Master League. I have this 98 Cradilia as I had mentioned a couple seconds ago. And on the left side, you're looking at the stats of Polyrath, which uh, it's pretty good, you know. It has some very fluent matchups. Here it runs Dynamic Punch and Scald, although the Shadow Form tends to run Ice Punch because of those grass types. Here we have is that low tad that I originally was going to use for the Element Cup, but never got the chance to do so. And quite frankly, I just don't have like a lot of good Pokemon for the Weather Cup. And like you see right here, we got Politoed, which does require Earthquake if you want the Elite TM. I myself not going to do that because what's the point of building up the uh, Politoed when I just feel like it's just not worth it to be quite frank. Here I had just shown you my rank 14 uh, Samurai for Ultra League and now I'm showing you my rank 1, which I was honestly kind of surprised how I was able to get it and then I was able to evolve it during a Go Battle weekend back in July. Here we have is Blaziken on the left and Blaziken is definitely a spice pick for sure. You don't need Blast Burn because you have Blaze Kick and Stone Edge is not worth it. And on the right side here, you can see me like going through like the candy and how much it costs to power up my Tapu Fini for the Ultra League. I don't think I'm going to be doing that because I plan to trade my two Tapu Finis with people who really want them in the case they want to give me one back so I can have like a good PvP IV Tapu Fini. But other than that, it's just really hard to decide though going further down the list we got alone sand slash alone nine tails and we all know how annoying alone nine tails is in the great league let alone being allowed in the ultra league plus it uses xl candy which really frustrates me when i have to see this like charmer just charming my pokemon away but you could also run powder snow if you feel like doing so here we have his Golisopod, and quite frankly like i was able to get myself that rank three as i had shown you earlier and here we have his Lapras. It does require XL Candy. The only difference is that it runs Water Gun as opposed to Ice Shard, which generates a, a third less energy because like Water Gun generates three energy while Ice Shard generates three and a third energy per turn. And here we have like uh, Kyurem. Like, why would you want to power up Kyurem? Emholian, I wouldn't necessarily say as a joke. Sea King is actually running Mega Horn, which usually you run Icy Wind to make yourself flexible. Although because of those ice types, what's the point of running it though? Here we have is uh mm, I think that is uh Slow King? Yeah, Slow King. I was about to say Slow Bro, but even then, like with Slow Bro, it's a different story. Cause like you don't ne really need Slow King or Slow Bro in this cup because like, yeah, they do require XL Candy, but what's the point in powering them up? And of course we have Nia Legal there. If you were able to get yourself one during Go Fest or even like the finale of Go Fest, congratulations. Here we have his Arcanine and quite frankly, it's probably not worth the investment in building one because it's 
very glassy and like sure snarl charges a lot of energy super quick but it's not enough to warrant arcanine though however because you know like it's very glassy in its shadow form here we have is like Charizard, Feraligatr, Victini, Agron. And for Victini, I wouldn't recommend you building a Victini for the Ultra League, let alone like having just one since you only get one really because, but other than that, I don't know if I will play in the Weather Cup because if I do, then I'll probably get upset over it. So I'm just going to stick with the Open Ultra League. But anyways, thank you again for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, peace out.